Hello everybody, how are you doing today? And I'm here right outside of Costco Wholesale. I don't think you can see this. Uh, the sign very well but what we are going to be doing today is we'll be uh, going over protein and energy bars and also what we may find is what I call masked dessert uh, bars we're gonna be doing a review about which one you should be buying based on your needs basically to give you a, a brief overview of the difference between protein and energy bars is that Protein bars tend to be clearly higher in protein and usually, not always, but usually they don't have that many calories. Well, energy bars tend to be higher in calories. They tend to be less rich in protein and instead have more carbs and definitely also more uh, fat. Okay, so we're gonna now go in and we'll go to the section where Costco has all the bars. I'll be walking you through the aisle and we'll be discussing which bar is what? Is it a protein bar or an energy bar? And if, depending on, on what it is, should you be getting it or not? Starting this review from the bars that I think are the worst ones and I'm gonna be moving towards the best ones. Now, this is not an absolute ranking. Uh, think of it more like groups, like this is like the not great group or like the really bad group medium group and like the best group okay let's start with the bars that are at the bottom okay of them all and the first one i want to address is the cliff bar seriously just check out these macros okay so each bar has about 280 to 290 calories okay and you can see here nine grams of fat out of which six of them are saturated fat so high saturated fat a lot of carbohydrates at 31 grams out of which 17 grams are added sugars okay so that is more than four teaspoons of sugar and i would ask like i don't understand who is buying cliff bars like why would you want to buy a bar that has four teaspoons of sugar now what's funny is it says on the front of package it's a protein bar it has 20 grams of protein sure but it does have 20 grams of protein in 280 calories 290 calories so it's not like you get 20 grams of protein in, let's say, 120 calories or in 200 calories, okay, so it's 280 calories. And to get those 20 grams of protein, you have to get the almost equivalent amount of grams in added sugar. Now, keep in mind, according to the American Heart Association, the daily limit of added sugar is 6 teaspoons. So why would you get 4 teaspoons from a, what you think is a protein bar? There's so many better options out there, okay, that do not give you this level of added sugar or maybe no added sugar at all and are also low in saturated fat now i'm gonna move on to another one that belongs to the bottom group and that is the nature uh, valley one 30 bars okay for uh 14 dollars so that's pretty good price but let's look at the statistics okay look at the label which is what we care about we see that every bar has about 190 calories out of which 10 are protein so it's not really high in protein, okay? It only has 10 grams. And to get those 10 grams, you have to get almost 200 calories, okay? There are other bars out there that are higher in protein, and that would actually make them protein bars. So that's not really high for protein. Now, it does have six grams of fiber, so it's not bad. It's working a little bit towards that, okay? Towards building up your fiber goals, which is good, but it does have five grams of fatty sugar, so that's more than a teaspoon, again, why do you need to buy something that has more than a teaspoon? Of course, compared to the Cliff Bar, this is so much better, but still. And then, as you see here, it has 12 grams of fat. That means that over 50% of the calories here come from fat. So if I were to give a name to this bar, I would call it a fat bar. Overall, I'm not impressed with this one. It's not shockingly bad like the Cliff one, okay? And the next one I'm going to be moving on is that this is the soft and chewy one. So earlier I talked about the mask dessert ones. So I would probably say that's one example. You know, it has 100 calories. Out of those 100 calories, 7 grams already are from added sugar. Okay, again, that's almost 2 teaspoons. This is very high for the, for the calories. Again, why would you get a bar that has 7 grams of added sugars? I mean, if you're going to get added sugar, you might as well eat an actual dessert. It has 3 grams of fat. Okay, so almost... 30% uh, of the calories here come from fat and only one gram of protein. So this is like a, a fat and carbs bar. Okay, if you're looking for a fat and carbs bar that also has added sugar, you're going to get this granola bar. 
Now, if you see the name granola and you think oats, you know, all of that, and you think, oh, it's healthy. Uh, no, I would stay away from it. Uh, I don't really see anything that's beneficial for you in this bar. There, again, there are better options and we're going to cover them today. Okay, so let's move on and see something that's better for you. And that would be uh, the Kirkland's Nut Bar. Okay, so with this package, you get 30 bars, totally classify under energy bar. You see it's $14 and each one of them has uh, 200 calories. Uh, it doesn't have that much protein, just five grams. Okay, that's why I said I would call it an energy bar. They do have eight grams of fiber, so not bad. Okay, uh, three and a half grams of saturated fat. I prefer that number to be lower, but it's okay, three and a half. So, not protein bar. This is an, an example of an energy bar. The macros here are pretty good. So, if you're looking for something to give you extra energy, this nut bar here is, is not bad. Okay, I would say go for it. And actually, I've tried it and it tastes good, so I recommend it. Okay. And with that, let's go to an, another interesting contender here in uh, this review, which are those uh, remedy bars. Now, these uh, remedy bars, I like that they have uh, simple ingredients. What's interesting is each one of those bars have uh, 12 grams of protein, okay, in 210 calories. So the protein content is not very high. I would not call it a protein bar, even though they say protein bar on the package. This is not really a protein bar. Okay, yes, there is some protein, but it's not high enough to say this is a protein bar. Um, so 12 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat, and 23 grams of carbs. So I would say if you were looking for a bar that has like balanced macros all over, fat and carbs and protein, this is it. Okay, I would more most likely call it an energy bar. It does have 5 grams of fiber, so it's not bad. It's almost like eating whole wheat pasta, okay? So not bad. And as you see here, zero grams of added sugars, unlike the other ones that had a bunch of sugar in there. I would say this is pretty good. If you were looking for an all-around energy bar, go for it. And now I'm going to move on to my favorite ones, okay? The next one would be the Pure Protein, okay? Um, $20 for $23. So a little less than a dollar each. Uh, as you see here, it's uh, 180 to 200 calories. This is actually a protein bar, just two grams of added sugar, okay? The fat is not very high and this is definitely a protein bar, okay? So I would say go for, for, for pure protein if you're interested in that. And I've talked about this bar before. I'm talking about the Kickland protein bar, okay? $18. Each one of them has 180 to 170 calories, 21 grams of protein and also 10 grams of fiber. So this is really good and it's going to be satiating because not only do you get high protein content, you also get 10 grams of fiber, okay? So I would say go, 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 go for it. And you get only two grams of saturated fat, unlike some other ones that were giving you higher amounts, okay? So uh, this is pretty good. I would say a protein bar, okay? Go for it. Pure protein, go for it. The remedy, go, the remedy one, go for it. If you were looking for an energy bar and same for the nut bar, the other ones you can skip. Okay, everyone, so that was it. I walked you through the aisle. We talked about the different bars. I hope you liked this video. Please let me know. Do you have a favorite bar, protein bar, energy bar? I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, my review and also on what your favorites are. So please leave a comment. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go do it right now. Like this video, subscribe, okay? This will help me tremendously. It's a click to you and means the world to me, okay? So thanks all for watching and I hope I'll see you again next time in the next video. Goodbye.